Warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and a lot of jump scares. Headphones advised. Well, don't you worry. I do have some headphones glued to my head, and any of you are prone to that stuff, then be warned. Oh, and I'm trapped inside of another animatronic suit. Hey, what's new, huh? Oh, and I can hear some radio interference in the background. Uh, oh. Are you about to prime up a shock? For me, because I don't want jolts coursing through my body. I am a human being inside of the suit. Uh, they didn't care? Uh, who didn't care? Uh, oh, here we go. So, here is the menu for the game. How's it going, everyone? And welcome to another FNAF fan game called Night Shift with jazz yeah i recognize this menu ambience a whole lot <laughs> now i have kept my eyes out closely for this game and so i did uh, see a couple of the gameplay screenshots of the office and i had to say that you know i presume that your name is jazz you looked really snazzy with your uh attire that you got on uh, i think that your top hat is about to fall off your head there any second so yeah but just uh you know giving you a heads up pal and so here I am, finally about to spend the night shift with Jazz, made by Scroll, and uh, there is like a spinning cogwheel that, oh, I can interact with for the settings. Oh, uh, hi there, whoever you are. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get on out of here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this uh, game then, shall we? Oh, and here's the newspaper. I know that I'm probably not gonna have enough time to read this. Jazz and Friends Donuts World are back. Wait, what now? Okay, more FNAF fan games need to have this feature where you have a lot of time to read the newspaper and then you can just like press any button to go on with the main week here. The famous restaurant is back after six months closed. We are looking for a security guard to work at the night shift. Ensure safety of the place and the beloved animatronic characters. Monitor cameras with our enhanced technology. And remember, it always tastes better with a smile on face. $220.50 a week. To apply, call 1288-JAZZ-FROST, I think, anyways. And so, uh, there goes the main mascot just staring at me real blankly through the cameras with the, you know, like I said before, an absolutely snazzy looking outfit. Uh, did you guys take over Freddy Fazbear's after it closed? Because I do recognize the stage set design right behind you with that uh, familiar looking cloud there. Here we go. 12 a.m. First night. All right, so let's see what this game is going to play like. It, yeah, there is a spinning donut for the loading symbol there. Just a match with the overall donut theme. Oh! Okay, so here's the office here. Really cool. We got an out-of-order arcade machine over there. Come on. It's probably that Fred Burns arcade machine that I played not too long ago, isn't it? And there goes a couple of hey, hey. donuts What's up, there. Man? Hey, what how's it going? Jazz and Fred's Donuts World. Oh. Our joy and fun are always welcome. My name is Alex, and I'm here to help you during your first week. Yeah, I appreciate this that, Alex. I would call you today, right? So, let's start with the basics. First of all, you'll have the security system in your office. We were forced to put this protection measures after that oh, accident. Oh, that's neat. Anyway, you can click on the buttons to close the security doors and protect yourself in the case of some thief in the big location or things like that. Although, you have to use them wisely as they drain power. Also, you have the camera system, where you can watch all the cameras of the restaurant, clicking on the icon of each camera. However, yeah, no, the cameras work. Well, but less in the doors. By my calculations, if you don't use the security system, you will be able to use the cameras for your night shift until 6 a.m. without the power going out. The restaurant has been in a difficult moment, therefore we have to cut off expenses. I hope you understand. Yeah. Yeah, I so, I really think do. that's it by today. I don't want to talk any longer because I'm really tired and I really want to sleep. I will call you tomorrow to give some other instructions. Good night. Yeah, save your energy for the next step. Uh few nights phone guy and well you did talk for like a full-on hour so yep i don't blame you at all pal and i uh, really do appreciate the instructions there a whole lot phone guy so there is some rules for safety right on there on the the far wall and some 
very uh, adorable drawings of the main jazz crew. And so here we have a, a jazz cardboard cutout in the main entrance, along with some very adorable plushies that, you know, like I said before, I want to you know, stretch right through the screen and, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, who's laughing over here in the show stage? Yeah, I know that you guys are trying to stay perfectly still, on to one of you guys and so here we have the show stage i know that one of you is probably going to be moving right off the stage right after i uh you know flick off of this camera and here is the diner room with a couple of posters of well yep just your uh standard animatronics that want to party out with you and you probably uh you'll probably turn you into a dozen donuts yeah i know how this place works and then here we have Wolfie's show. So I'm guessing that Wolfie is staying inside of that curtain area. And uh, there goes another cardboard cutout of a couple of the other animatronics. Oh, uh, who's moving around? I saw the screen flicker. Oh, hi there. Please don't bash my face in with your rock guitar. I don't want to be shredded up by your tunes. And so here we have the supply closet where we can see a couple of the uh, you know, cardboard cutouts of those fake trees, the wet floor sign. Okay, I know that my remains are going to be a real hazard to step over, so... Yep, uh, just stay careful when you're just walking around everywhere. Oh, and here's the parts and service room with a couple of the heads that are up on those shelves there. And Yep, they still have their eyes. Yep, pretty neat. And so here is the arcade room. Alright, don't see a couple arcade cabinets in there. And the hallway where... Yep, I do know that I need to close the door to your face. Uh, whenever you get real close to me. Alright. So let me just... Just keep an eye on you. Alright, I know that you're going to be stepping real closer. Uh, just be careful of some of the objects that are obstructing your path. Like those boxes. If there's like a chair. I mean, you did walk forward with uh, accurate position. So, yeah, I am very proud of you for not tripping over and falling down on the ground. Okay... Uh, I know it's going to be you moving around for tonight. So, uh, do you want to step foot into the doorway so I can shut it in your face? Oh, oh my gosh! Alright, well, I have a feeling that if he is on that last phase there, that... Oh, wow, I gotta shut the door on him. So this is what the game over screen looks like. Oh, I see where they're going to enter the ventilation system at. So it's right up there, and the duct is carefully placed on the floor. You know what? Uh, yeah, phone guy, uh, maybe whatever you call up tomorrow, can I please make you aware that someone's trying to sabotage my job here? I mean, I really do appreciate more of the airflow, but still, these animatronics are moving around, and I got camera proof of that happening, so just... Uh, or maybe I can go home and get like a simple screwdriver and put it back in that uh, vent system there. Oh. I didn't mean to, uh, Mr. Donut. I saw you over there uh, on top of those TVs, and I just kind of want to give you like a little pat on the head and. Look, man, I'll, I'll keep your personal space to yourself, okay, man? Uh, oh, you could go to the entrance, I see. Yeah, that would be very unlucky enough that there's, like, a thief that broke into this restaurant and saw that this fella was standing right at the entrance. <laughs> yeah, you are done if that happens. All right, so it's 4 a.m. again, and this time I'm going to be real careful if I see him standing so close to the office with those red spooky eyes. I gotta make sure that I can close that door as soon as that happens. Alright, you are still chilling out in Wolfie's room? Ah, okay, where'd you go now? Oh no, I've lost track of him. Oh, you're in the closet. Okay, you can stay there for the next two hours. And, uh, not pick up the pace. Yep, this happened last time. Alright. Yeah, see you there, mister. So, do you want to pay a visit to my giant titanium lace door? <laughs> That's probably going to crush your foot if you're unlucky enough. Come on, I need you to step closer for me, please. It's already 5 a.m. 
We only have one more hour until uh, you can move directly to my office. You got plenty of time, technically, throughout this entire week, okay? Since I am going to be staying for a few more nights over at this place, uh, like standard protocol whenever I'm working at one of these uh, you know, robotic restaurants here. Oh, we haven't moved just yet. Alright, looks like 6 a.m. is going to come up soon. Uh, do you have anything else to say before I move on over to night two and make some progress? Huh? <laughs> looks like you are shocked that I'm staring at you so much. Oh, hi there. Let me just close the door. Make sure that you go back. Uh, where'd you go? By the way. Okay. I have... Oh, there you go. And that's how you properly deal with them. Hey, give me all that confetti rained down upon me <laughs> as I walked out of the office. Oh. All right, so here I have a mini game that I'm playing through. So is that supposed to be me stepping foot out of the office? Hey. Like the banger that's playing. Fun time. Yeah, that lo looks like a fun time with that, uh... Arcade machine there yet. You keep on going there, little buddy. Oh, and there goes Wolfie. Just... Performing on the stage. Okay, and I uh, exited out of the facility. I think I did a good job. They like him. Yeah, what a job well done for repairing that Wolfie animatronic to perform well for all the kids to enjoy some of his uh, song solos. Hopefully that he has a whole database of songs that he can choose from and his animatronic database there. So, let's go ahead and get started with Night 2 and see who else is going to be active. I presume that it might be Wolfie who uh, will run directly to my office. <laughs> Hopefully not the case. Alright, phone guy, uh, do you have any other advice to say to me this time? Because I know that you do. Hey man, second night. Um, today I'm supposed to talk to you about the animatronics. So, here we go. We have four animatronics on our restaurant. Jazz the Penguin, Bob the Koala, Jinx the Wolf, and Wolfie the Wolf. Yeah, I know these names are known creativity and really generic. Yeah, they fun. work with me. For the children audience. By the way, don't let anyone touch these animatronics, okay? They are really important for the company. Well, they're about to come to the office and strangle me. These animatronics were made by an old employee of the restaurant. He was he was very good at robotic stuff and things like that. He also had a friend who helped him to build these robots. But that guy had no connection with the company. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any technician anymore to get help us with the animatronics and give them a maintenance. So since we closed, those robots haven't had any improvements or haven't been reprogrammed. But Chris already make up for lost ground. And if everything goes well, we'll have some competent again to take care of the animatronics. That did. Hey. Have a good night. Oh, and someone else moved as soon as you hung up that phone call. Uh, wasn't that perfectly timed? Or maybe you did that, phone guy. Uh, I don't know if I could trust you or not for the rest of this week. But yeah, I appreciate more of the information regardless. All right, so uh, looks like someone else moved around, and it is the other wolf animatronic, uh, Jinx, I presume. How you doing? You look fabulous, by the way. That lipstick really does uh, suit you a whole lot with those earrings and that lovely-looking top hat. Golly! Oh, uh, uh, how you doing there? Just creeping around that corner. So I think you probably might go into the ventilation system, since you are going off in that other path there okay uh... <laughs> all right well, i'm gonna close up this door make sure that you go back finally all right where did you go jinx huh still there in the entrance i see keeping a close lookout for any of those uh, burglars that might be uh you know still camping out in front of the place all right uh good on you for being a really Nice animatronic. Alright, so we went back to the stage. Very nice. Let me just see if you're still there. Yep, thank goodness you are. 
And those uh, white gloves you got on look spotless. Golly, I can tell that you like to, you know, take care of yourself a whole lot in the restaurant, huh? All right, hopefully that I don't use one of these doors and, well, <laughs> crush you to bits, making you a whole bunch of animatronic parts on the ground. All right, you moved off somewhere else. Oh, you're hanging out in Wolfie's room. I see, so you're... Trying to see if Wolfie is all fine in his uh, cove area, since he does get lonely from time to time. Yeah, these animatronics. Oh, man. Real heroes in this restaurant. Okay, yeah, so... I'm trying to keep my head... On a swivel here and not pass out here. Can I just use that coffee cup and probably just drink what's left in there? Alright. Oh, and you moved off somewhere else. Yep, I knew you were going to go into the ventilation system. <laughs> I saw it from uh, one of my various guesses here. Golly, you look really cool. Let me just shut that off. Oh! Oh, dang. Okay, so uh, she makes those sound cues whenever she's in the ventilation system. And you're about to attack me. Oh, shoot. So let me just open up this door. Hopefully I don't let her jump scare me. And you immediately teleport back to the stage? Alright, you are one fast animatronic. I mean, I'm not surprised considering how many of these places that I've worked at thus far. Alright, you went back over to the stage. Nice. Alright, I'm just making sure that no one is nearby whatsoever. So it is that every single night, another animatronic becomes active. So I think right up until night four, everyone's going to be moving around. And night five, they're all going to be moving really fast to my office. Eh, whatever. That'll be all fine by me here. Alright, I could probably use this donut as bait and throw it out of the office and they can all uh, go for that. All the animatronics can fall for that tactic there that I got prepared for them very nicely in my mind. Okay. Oh no. Just close that off. Alright. Did you go back to the stage? Come on. You just see it pop up right there. I know you're still camping out in the vent. Yep, there you are. Nice. And, uh, 6 a.m., can you roll around, uh, soon for me, please? Since these nights are moving by very quickly here. And there we go. Night two has been finished off. <laughs> yeah, give me some more of that good old fashioned confetti. And let's see what this, uh, minigame is gonna be like after night two here. Yeah, back with the same jams, and I look more bored than before. Uh, what's got you in such a mood here, pal? Uh, where did the arcade machines go? Uh, did someone drive in here with, like, a forklift and steal them while I was not looking at this whole place closely? Uh, why is the music all slow now? Uh, Wolfie, are you feeling okay? Now let me just go out this door here before anything happens. Uh... <laughs> This room is really dangerous. Do you want me to work here? I mean, this whole building is dangerous, for crying out loud. You got animatronics that are trying to break into my office, and so... Well, if it's safe, then why are there huge metallic doors that are guarding off the room at all times, huh? Eh, whatever. You can just probably forget about asking any of those sort of questions whatsoever and just... Eh, continue on with working the whole week and... Well, let these animatronics mind their own business, as it is, a, you know, a normal occurrence around these parts. Or in this case, around these types of, uh, uh locations. Alright, let's move on with night three here and see what the phone guy has to say for tonight here. And, well, let's see who's going to be moving around. And I do know that you might have another method of, well, attacking me for tonight here. So, uh, yeah, phone guy, uh, can you please respond faster here? Hello there. You're doing great. Today I went up to yeah, the kitchen and heard the people there talking about the accident. 
they told you something about this? Well, if not, we don't usually talk about that here, so please don't make questions. If you see the kitchen staff, just ignore them. They like to make fun of the rookies. You know, have a good night. Alright, so who's going to be moving around for tonight? Uh, Wolfie, I know you're going to peel back the curtains and reveal... Alright. Yeah, I'm just making sure that uh, no one's lurking closely near, uh, you know, my office whatsoever. Alright. Yeah, come on, Wolfie. I know that you have it in you to lurk around the whole building. I got a door with all your animatronics' names on it. So maybe you can, uh, you know, come out of the curtains anytime soon for me, buddy? Alright. So far, it's the same... Workflow as before, uh, everyone's slowly moving around the place. Okay, are you... Nope, you are still standing real creepily in the hallway there. Alright. Not too bad. Oh, uh... That right there is just to throw me off of my current... Night guarding here, alright? Oh, you're about to crawl in the ventilation system here soon. Alright, you're still standing at the stage, Jazz. I think you're gonna be moving around for tomorrow. Oh no, let me just close that off. Alright. I need you to both appear back on the stage, please. Because this is not good. I got both doors currently shut. And y'all are not back on the stage. Uh, can you please uh, snap over there? Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Jinx, you too. I need you to reappear back on the stage. You're still chilling out in the ventilation system? Now let me just uh, reconfigure your uh, senses to go back over there, please. Uh, and you finally went back, I presume. Wow, you lollygagged so much in the ventilation system, really? <laughs> Trying to drown out all of the oxygen that I needed for the rest of this week to survive with. I see. So it is kind of the same way from the previous night, uh, except Wolfie is about to step out of the cove and run directly to my office. Oh, shoot. Alright, let me just save more of my power here and hope for the best of Wolfie not about to run soon? Okay. Yeah, Jazz is watching all this in amusement here. He's probably partially hacking into my surveillance system here and is laughing so much on the stage, but you know, you can hardly tell since you know, he's an animatronic and he is playing it very well. Uh wait, hold on, Wolfie? Uh wait, where'd you go? Oh no. Just close that off. Did you peel back the curtains? since you were real nervous about attacking me? Okay, man, uh, you do you, I guess. Uh, if you uh, feel a lot of anxiety coursing through your animatronic system, then I don't blame you, pal. Just stay in there for the rest of the night for me, please. Only got like a couple hours left. All right, you finally went back. Let's go. All right, don't see anyone. Oh my gosh! So if you hear her making like two sets of ventilation shuffling sounds, like if she moves once, then you're perfectly fine. But if she moves a second time in that same ventilation system, then you gotta shut that door and then hopefully she reappears back on the show stage. I see now. Oh! Uh, okay, I see that you're a lot more bold than before, Wolfie. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Uh, how you doing there, huh? And now you're back in your cove area. That was a bit too close. So, I guess that if you stare at him 
for a bit longer on the cameras, then that's how you send them back there? I see if that's the case, really. Hey, great. I guess you're at my door there. Uh, can you go back to the stage? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Didn't need to say anything else. You just do it anyways. Alright. Oh! What? Why are you going back? Uh, I thought you went back into your cove. Uh, okay, I guess that was a full-on tactic that you were doing, huh? Oh, shoot. Speaking of hidden tricks that these animatronics keep behind their servos. Okay! Just don't. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Well, at least that this door is made of solid steel. And so you can't even punch it right through it whatsoever. And that is how you deal with Wolfie. And you went back off to your stage in shame from that, huh? <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, man. Okay. There we go. There goes the second movement sound. I need you to go back to the show stage, please. There we go. Oh, man. Yep, Wolfie's moving. Alright, don't see any other animatronics in my hallway there, so I should be good for the rest of tonight here. If my power is not going to drain all the way down to that 0%. And that'll be very bad for me. Yeah, I see you there still staring at me with those evil red eyes. Oh, and you both replaced each other's positions, I see. <laughs> hey, there we go. Night three has been wrapped up. And I got some more complimentary confetti to take home with me, so... Yeah, ain't that convenient. Oh. Alright, so here we have all oh, a stern meeting with someone here? Okay, so what happened specifically here, huh? We look even more sad than before. And the arcade room is, well, no longer having a whole bunch of rave stuff going on. All right. Hey. All right, and Wolfie is concealed behind those curtains again. And, oh, uh, what's with the screen? Turn it a bit darker there. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get on out of here. This is not looking too good for my liking. It was an accident, and you know it. Wait, hold on. Did someone tamper with the Wolfie animatronic to go into kill mode, and there was, like, an incident in relation to him? So I'm guessing that a kid probably got murked by Wolfie, and you know what? Uh, let's just go ahead and find out what's gonna happen in the next minigame after Night 4 here. Night 4? Here we go. All right, phone guy, uh... What are the sort of useful tips and uh, hidden lore that you have uh, somewhere in your mind that you have to tell me for tonight? Alright, so here we are back in the office. I know that Jazz is going to be moving around. Oh, and someone... D Whoa! Okay, they both immediately flew off the stage. What's oh, up, shoot. man? Night four. Uh, good job. Keep it up. Yeah, appreciate it, man. You're already used to the location. So I think we can say that you are one of us now. Congratulations. I noticed that you've seen a little disturbed these days. Look, if you need it, don't hesitate to talk to me, okay? We don't want any employee complaining about work conditions here. So that's it. See you tomorrow. I hope I see you tomorrow as someone is already in the vent about to pounce at me in my very office. Ah, great. Yep, there goes your second movement set. Alright, nice. Whoa, you disappeared. Whoa, my gosh, that was so close. <laughs> Alright, well, things are definitely uh, getting more real, it seems like. And is Wolfie still chilling out? Yes, he sure is. Along with Jazz on the stage. Oh, wow. Hey, how's it going to the both of you? Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the other cameras and hope that no one's gonna be nearby my office. How you doing, Wolfie? Yep. <laughs> You're about to pay a visit to me very soon, aren't you, pal? Alright. Yep, he is still on the stage, just observing all the chaos going on. Yeah, I know, it's very funny to you, Jazz. My pain and suffering that I'm going through. Alright. Alright, see no one in that hallway there. 
Oh no. Wolfie? Where are you, Wolfie? Oh no. He's disappeared from that room there. Okay, let me just close that off. Oh no. Trying to keep my composure here with all the chaos going on. And you're back over to the show stage. Good. Yeah, Wolfie might be back in his cove. Or he's stealthing right there to the left side of my office. Yeah, I know how you guys work. You and your self-closing curtains. Alright. I see you there. So I'm at 50% at 2 a.m. Oh, this ain't good. All right, now it just flipped over to three. <laughs> oh, Jazz has gone off the stage. Oh, where'd you go? Uh, where did you go, huh? Oh, no. I think he said he has enough of being patient on the stage, and he is now out on the attack. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to look around the office here. Oh no. Oh, he's right there! How you doing, Jazz? Uh, so you're both hanging around the same supply closet. Okay. Look, I know that you're shaking your head real violently in my face. Telling me to go to another camera and just observe something else. Oh, my. Okay, and I got jump scared by Wolfie. <laughs> Alright, so I think you were standing outside my office after all this time. Okay. Oh, I see you over there, Jazz. All right, you already starting to move around on 2 a.m.? Yeah, she is still inside of a vent. <laughs> Blocking out like 90% of my oxygen here. Oh no. Oh my. Okay, just. Oh my. So I'm back at 3 a.m. and this camera flipping strat really does work. So I'm focusing on the left hallway here since three of the four animatronics attack from this single route and jinx is the only one that attacks from the ventilation system i just need to hear for those subtle audio cues so yeah i see you there but no one else uh, i guess they're all just piled up right behind you about to attack all at the same time okay let me just close that out all right i need you to go back to the show stage for me and jazz is on the move right now However, I'm not going to be afraid by his uh, terrifying vibe that he's given off. Yeah, you're about to crawl through the vent here. Alright. There she goes again. Alright, Wolfie is about to bang on my door like a dang drunk set. <laughs> you know, we got to install one of those for your cove area, buddy. Seriously, you can take out your whole anger out on the, uh, you know, that in your cove area, not on me, please. The really? She's still in my vent. I have not seen her go back to the, oh. All right, well, I saw you were shaking around real violently in the entrance zone for a split second. Oh, come on. Jinx, get out of there. You're hogging up so much of my power. Jeez, dude. That is seriously not cool for you to do that at all. Oh, you're outside? Okay, what? Why didn't I see you back at the show stage? Okay. Let me just open up that door here again. It's currently five. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> you hush, Jazz. I'm trying to pay attention to Jinx, who is currently in my ventilation system. Oh, and I successfully dealt with both of them at the same time. Oh no. Get lost. <sighs> Alright. Nice. 
Nice, you went back to the stage. Come on, 6 a.m., where are you at, man? I know you want to tick over soon enough for me. There, I see someone there in the hallway. But I think I'm, well, finally able to move on over to night five. Let's go. <laughs> night four has been dealt with. So what is the minigame going to be after, well, the static clears here? Oh, and I'm all blue now. Okay, what happened to you behind the scenes, buddy? I really want to know. Hey, well, at least the beats are still, uh, just as amazing as before. Oh, who in the world are you? Do you really want to go over to that closet? Uh, how it... It can be. I don't know what to do. Well, just stay away from that door. All right, here we go. And I know that this will be much more chaotic. So, phone guy, can you please leave behind a very quick message for me to read from so that I can focus in more on this uh, uh, final night of the week? I know there is a couple more nights of overtime that I need to well, survive through. And they're all off of the stage. Oh wow! Yeah, keep hey, hey, man. Make this quick. How how are you doing? Okay. Uh, not uh, that bad right now. Fully not shaking out of fear. Come tomorrow for the night shift. It happens that the guy who was in charge to be there tomorrow uh, fired himself. You don't know why he did this, but now we have to look for someone qualified for the night shift. I know tomorrow is your day off, but don't worry. Maybe you'll receive an overtime. Maybe, okay? Good night. Yeah, good night to you as well, phone guy. And don't you worry, I will make up for that overtime you promised me. Alright. Wolfie's already there, so let me close that. I think he left. All right, so this is an easy method here. So there should not be a problem at all. Unless I want to take it up with Jazz personally here. So I think I might just focus in on more of the night here. And keep my mouth uh, shut tight, so... Alright, Jazz and the gang. Oh no. Oh, r wait, really? Wait, hold on, huh? Where did you go? <laughs> uh, did you go through the ventilation system by any chance? Oh, hi there. I see you there, Jazz. Oh no. So I guess that you're crawling in my vent here? Go away. Oh no. Yeah, you actually did. Wow. <laughs> so Jazz can take the ventilation route and the normal hallway route. Oh no. That's kind of crazy in a way. Oh, no. Alright, so you both took turns on attacking that door. Just close you out. Alright.
That's how you deal with them at the left door. So that's like another method of attack. So if you look at the camera real funny and that guy is just standing right behind you, then he just instantly disappears off of that said camera. And he's already at my doorway. That is real troublesome to find out. Oh, that's really neat. What? So they have like more than one like camera position there. So, well, that's really sick. What? I know you're here somewhere, 6 a.m. Please! Oh, come on! finished off in night five man that was really uh intense in a way all right so what's gonna happen next on this oh cutscene here i'm still stuffed inside of this suit uh, please help me up uh, oh hi there i think that you're wolfie yeah i'm staring directly out of the curtain oh oh wow uh yeah, I think that means that I have been uh, murked. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing at me about this, aren't you? Hey, there we go. Outstanding. And there they all go, doing their stage performance. Classic FNAF 1 style. You did a really good job. Congratulations. I really do appreciate this paycheck here. Pay to the order of Frank Wilson, Tojin, $20.50. Welcome to our family, Jazz Frosty Company. On July 24th, 1998. Hey! What the heck? Oh, man, I really always love these uh, music box beats here. Alright, so let's go back on to the main menu here. I just had to press space to go back to the main menu. Yeah, thanks for all the fanfare, uh, you know, outside of the location. I really do appreciate all those fireworks that are going off. And look at that. I got myself the very first star on the menu. And it looks like that I've unlocked 
the horror night for me to take on. So how horrifying is this night going to be here? So I think this is the night six equivalent to Night Shift with Jazz. So yeah, I think this is going to be really uh, horrifying in a way. All right, here we go with the horror night. So this is my uh, overtime that I'm uh, about to get started with. Okay, so how fast are these goobers going to be moving around the whole building here, huh? All right. Oh, I already start to hear some creepy laughter. Oh, uh, hey, phone guy. <laughs> Gonna give me another surprise message here. Hello, hello. You really came. I'm impressed. Looks like you are determined in your commitments. All right, I have something to tell you. We put the animatronics in a reboot mode. Uh, I do see that. The skeleton prototype in the park and service room. Because they will have a maintenance tomorrow. Thanks God. The reboot will last 10 minutes long. And when you're relieving, don't touch the animatronics. Please go home and take a break. Okay, you I don't know why. Oh, tamper with the animatronics. Right? So you won't have any problems. Once again, congratulations for the week. And remember, always stay better with a smile on your face. See oh. you again on Monday. Uh, what is going on now? So, the animatronics are on reboot mode. Oh, you were the weirdo that was hiding in that room. I see. So, how are you doing over there, huh? Okay, so, as soon as you disappear off of that camera, then, obviously, I gotta shut the door so you could get back on out of here. I see, so, I have to spend all of tonight with, uh, backing you right off. And I think that you're the same. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. You are so fast. <laughs> oh, my. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, obviously, I know your starting place is the parts and service room. So, how are you doing hanging out in there? All right, so uh, where are you going to go through, huh? The ventilation system or the hallway? Since those are both... The only ways of, uh, the mode of attack that you could, uh, possibly go... Oh, shoot. So where'd you go off to? Oh, you're hanging out in the dining room with the rest of the other animatronics. So I guess you might be waiting for the stage performance that might happen after the animatronics reboot. Wait, at least you're actually, uh, hanging out for the next couple hours in that same room. So yeah, I could just stare at you for a couple more seconds. And I don't know if this, uh game has a camera stall method it probably doesn't but i'm just gonna look at you for the rest of tonight here and you're still standing there just tilting your head <laughs> analyzing uh, my fear i think you are all right yeah this is not bad at all i'm already on at 2 a.m and you haven't attacked me once so <laughs> i mean hey at least you're jump oh shoot where'd you go uh, oh, you're in the hallway, so you're about to attack from that side. I gotta prime myself ready to close that button. Okay. Yeah, come on, I know you want to come over here to my office and, well, pay me a visit. Alright, saw the camera. Oh my gosh! That sounded like a gunshot outside of my door. Oh my... Okay. That was... Insane! Okay, well... You were just gonna hang around outside of my door just like that, R2. I see. What is that? Uh, are you inside of the ventilation system? Okay, I'm gonna close that off just in case if you are. Oh, I see you. For a split second anyways, hanging out in uh, Wolfie's room, and now you're in front of my office. Uh, directly uh, where I'm looking at into my wall here. You're just about to play on one of those arcade machines? Huh. Yeah, you could stay over there and distract yourself for the next couple of hours. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Gosh! Same thing from that door! Ow! I'm probably not gonna die because of you, but probably the loud sounds that you just like to make for some reason at the doors golly now i can feel like some vibrations in my eardrums after that loud bang uh, i'm not gonna open up that door just yet since i know that you're still there camping outside oh 
I think I saw you outside of Wolfie's room for a second. Yeah, there you are. You know, you're standing there with a big old grin on your face. A real psychotic one at that, since, yeah, I do know that you show so much... Ooh, man. Hatred for me. Uh, where are you? Okay, I don't see you anywhere. So I'm just gonna not consume as much power as I can. Okay. Don't see you anywhere, buddy. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Don't you dare. There you go. That's the sound effect that I was waiting to freaking hear. Alright, so now I need to find where you are. Since I do know you're still camping outside of my ventilation door. Alright, yep, I saw you there. So I'm just gonna open that up. And, please. Okay. Just don't waste any more power whatsoever. Or maybe he'll find the nearby fuse box and sabotage my power that way. <laughs> Good thing I'm not gonna tell him where it is. Or maybe he'll force that information out from my very suffering here. Alright. Don't seem at the hole. There we go. Nice. It's kind of getting predictable at this point. Ooh. Okay. Where are you? I don't know where you are, man. Because things are getting a little bit insane. Okay. Whew, man. I'm at 36% at 3 a.m. This is not good. Okay. So you have been attacking my ventilation system quite a whole lot here. Alright, I'm still paying attention to that left hallway there. So... Nothing there. For now, anyways. Yeah, after the reboot process of these electronics. Okay. There you go. That takes off so much. Okay, don't open that up whatsoever. Oh, man. I saw that it went down a couple of percentages in there. So, yeah, this horror night isn't that bad, actually. I just had to keep my eyes on the right ventilation entrance there along with me just keeping my eyes peeled on the left hallway camera since if I do see him right there staying in the hallway then I just gotta make sure to look over to that door and then bam close him out from there and if he uh, comes crawling inside of the ventilation system then I'll uh, you know keep my neck focused on the right side of the office hit that button quick and there you go the endoskeleton is no more <laughs> alright so where are you gonna go to now huh <laughs>
And there we go! I finally finished up the Horror Night! <laughs> yeah, that wasn't too bad, actually. I was worrying about the power so much. However, that Endo wasn't that much of a problem at all for my case, but... Eh, whatever, at least he was hanging out with the rest of his other friends that are still in reboot mode. Uh, okay, so I guess that this is the main lobby here. So we can leave the restaurant or stay and investigate? Uh, I think we should stay and investigate. I want to see what's going on here. Oh, really? <laughs> Tragedy is back. I think that's involving me right now, isn't it? The Curse of the Animatronics. This morning, an employee of Jazz and Friends Donuts World was found dead. The reason of the death is still unknown. The police suspects murdering. The owner of Jazz Frosty Company said he has no involvement in the case and states that the working conditions were safe this time. This might be the end of the restaurant with the animatronics that brought us so much joy in the past. And that was because of me just wanting to go and investigate what was going on with these animatronics here. And I unlocked the custom knight along with the extras. And... Alright, so I'm done with night six again. So that means I'm back at the lobby where I can actually choose the other choice of wanting to leave this place. Uh, maybe I can... You know, take this little talking donut home with me as a souvenir. Or maybe, uh, this donut box, uh, you know, just eat the rest of those donuts. Uh, look, I promise I'm not gonna eat your, uh, you know, non-alive friends right in front of you, okay? And, well, I could definitely take a coffee to go. And I still do love these, uh, little, uh, classic posters here. Alright, so let's go ahead and leave the restaurant. And that is the wise choice to do in this scenario. Hey, there we go. Got a cup of coffee right there along with the red pen. I presume that we are signing like a signature for something for the company. 26th of July, 1998. Dear Chris, first of all, I would like to thank you and Alex for the patience and trust on my person. This job was a new opportunity for me finally engaging in my life. I know that it's a difficult moment for the company and I really wanted to help, but since I started working here, I experienced things that unfortunately I will not forget. I don't want to be here anymore. I feel went more um, insane day by day. These animatronics aren't normal. I just want you to know that. I hope you understand my decision sincerely, Frank Wilson. Hey, man, don't you worry. At least I am alive. And hey, there we go. I got the second star right on the menu there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the extras. So here we have the animatronics. Here we have Jazz with, golly, you have a nice shade of blue for all your outfit right there, buddy. And, uh, you know, top hat just to complement the rest of the outfit here. Get yourself a nice red bow tie and, gosh, sick looking shoes that you got there, my man. Bob, looking uh, real spiffy with his uh, green outfit here with those uh, overalls, I presume, there. Along with the green bow tie just to complement... You know, the rest of the green outfit here. And Jinx, the magician. Wow, I think you're probably like my favorite character out of all of the other animatronics. You got heart gloves along with a magic wand and a heart top hat. Oh, you just look so adorable. And Wolfie. Uh, nothing else to see there aside from like a blue tie. <laughs> I mean, hey, uh, at least you're still uh, rocking that outfit. If you want to call it that very nicely. And there is... Oh, your name is Zenny. Oh, okay. Well, that's some new info that I've now uh, started to learn here about you. You kind of remind me of the Stitch Rate the whole lot. You're an endoskeleton, but you still have, like, a humanoid-looking face that is partially torn off and you're missing one of your eyes. And so next are the jump scares. So brace for those in three, two, one. So there we have Jazz, Bob... Let's go ahead and take a look at your animation there again, Jets. <laughs> Jinx, oh wow, coming in from the side of the office uh, where the vent system is. Trying to chop us up to bits. And there goes Wolfie and Zenny. And so here is behind the scenes. <laughs> so there we have, uh, you know, the work in progress stuff for Jazz's jump scare and all angles there. Along with the, some of the camera positions for Bob there and, uh, there's some gift boxes right behind them. Uh, yeah, maybe you could have, like, 
gave me one of those gifts and that uh, you kind of just left me alone for the rest of the night. Yeah, I wasn't like doing anything wrong, all right? <laughs> and I can see uh, Jinx right over there, just right behind that corner. And uh, this is right where the entrance is. And I think, yeah, this is where uh, Jinx is standing right behind the wall and uh, half of her is just doing a little T-pose. And here we have some behind the scenes of the office here. There goes the arcade machine that's still out of order. Uh, don't you worry, man. Uh, it is what it is. I didn't want to play a free arcade cabinet game in my office there. Hey, maybe after, uh, you know, my office shifts end, like, after every single one of the nights, then I could have actually, uh, you know, peeled back that uh, little piece of disclaimer paper right there and I played on the arcade cabinet machine. Be telling me some very creepy lore. And you could actually see Zenny crawling through the vent. Okay, that's kind of creepy. I did not even see that before. And so, um, you know, there goes a nice, brighter perspective of the parts and service room. Along with Wolfie just doing his usual, uh, you know, standing position in the extras out in the void uh, with the rest of his friends. And, uh, these are, like, different variations of jazz. I presume that those are, like, you know, the different model stages. Like, there's version 1, 2, and the finalized one for <laughs> Night Shift with Jazz. Which one's the, uh, real one, huh? I mean, uh, you're all from the different multiverse, so I guess you're all real, in a way. And that was all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So here we have the first version of Jazz in that main menu, and I kind of like how cute he looks. And... <laughs> Well, uh, I take that remark back. You didn't have to freaking pull up a photonegative Mickey move on me like that. I'm trying to take off your head. Hey, this looks cool. Wait, there is originally like a window in front of the office? I see, and there we have the same, uh, you know, ventilation system, much more on the ground, along with the doorway there and the original Celebrate poster. <laughs> Got some more of those, uh, drawings that are there. And, well, I don't see any sentient donuts, so that's kind of a relieving thing there. And uh, a TV for what sort of use? I have no idea. It's just there on the desk. Just like with the rest of these other places. There's like TVs and other monitors that are like at the other restaurants. But clearly no use has been put for them whatsoever. And what? Okay, that's really sick that there's like a show stage in front of the office. So I think that maybe this animatronic was like just moving closer to the office and maybe we had to like probably shut the window before they punched the said uh, glass out and jump scaring us in the process and here we have the bathroom area and don't you dare think that I don't see you <laughs> buckaroo just hanging around the bathroom uh, why are you in the women's restroom uh, are we gonna have like that theory that Freddy was possessed by a girl spirit is this the same theory type of thing for you Jess? Probably not, and there we have some of those other posters from the original first version of Night Shift with Jazz, very adorable. Aw, hello there. See, you think that you're gonna spook me with your spooky red LEDs? Uh, nah, you just still look really adorable, Jinx. Oh my gosh, if this is like a breaker room area, or maybe the parts and service room where Jazz was gonna freaking crawl through the ventilation system into the office. And I do see that there's like a breaker box in the background and he's just shrouded in freaking darkness. And here goes the... Oh, this is the parts and service area from the original first version of Night Shift with Jazz. There goes the uh, ventilation system with the tiling that's still in there. I thought it was going to be like fully encased with like a uh, metal, but hey, at least they're going for like a you know, more stylized choice for that ventilation system. And then uh, there goes all the heads along with uh, another poster right there of um, some other animatronic character. Let's eat up. You freaking stole that tagline from somewhere. Uh, yeah, Fazbear Entertainment's gonna sue you, uh, Jazz. <laughs> hey, how you doing there, Bob? You don't have your iconic green uh, overalls, but hey, that's fine. This is just like the very first uh, beta version of Night Shift with Jazz. This is uh, still under construction. What? Okay, that's pretty sick that there's like a large pink sprinkled donut there. <laughs> Golly, I'm already starting to you know, feel my stomach rumbling, along with the little flattened carbonated beverage just to complete with those uh, donuts there. Man, this game is making me real hungry right about now. And here is the original newspaper for Night Shift with Jazz, uh, you know, telling that, hey, guess what? There is a night guard opening, so uh, yeah, contact that phone number there. And there is the original Celebrate poster that was from the office. 
and when revenge takes control i think that this might have been like a teaser for a uh, night shift with jazz uh, for the original first version but yep since this game got itself a nice uh, you know evolution you know over time uh, and yeah this is a really fun like fnaf fan game so far <laughs> How are y'all doing? Just giving me those LED uh, red eyes. I'm just going to go on over to the concept art. So here we have the office, and there goes the uh, doorway, and uh, oh, the ventilation system. So this was like the original first version of Night Shift with Jazz, and uh, a friendly looking blockhead with Jazz, and I think Bob, and uh, there they both go again, but this time uh, here we have jinx along with the bob i presume and so here we have like another area oh this is the entrance yeah they're like those uh, two uh, bouquet of balloons that were like on either side of the well <laughs> main entrance there and so there goes zenny's uh you know fully fixed face in that concept art and that was pretty much it for all of the extras and the final thing for me to check out is the custom night oh okay what? Alright, this is kind of a pleasant melody here. <laughs> and so we can, like, press on one of these arrows, and it'll just go all the way up to 20 for us. And so here we have the 420 all maximum. And what is this, uh, little... Oh, uh, box up here? So it shows off all of the AI difficulty there, in case if we don't know, um, what, uh, difficulty, uh, they're set to, like, Easy, medium, hard, or just extreme, just the way I like it, always. And yeah, that just instantly uh, sets all of them to all max 20 there. And uh, I really do like the <laughs> spooky icon changes that they all have. So, Alright, so I'm going to get started with the 420 all max mode. And here we go. I know that my power is going to be... Oh boy, dropping so much. So, at least the camera is always going to be set to that left hallway there. Dang, that was close.
Uh, did I do it? Wait, what? Oh, let's go! I finished off the 420 mode on my second try. That was not that bad, actually. So, uh, now we're a ghost haunting this uh, place here, so I think Zenny might have actually killed us inside of that suit that he was staring us at, uh, you know, through the green curtains. And so now we're haunting the main building here. So what are we about to find over here at this, uh... <laughs> Closet here. Uh, Zenny, please don't vacuum my soul up and keep me in like a jar. That's not gonna be great. Uh, hello? Is there anyone here? Uh, Zenny or anyone really? Oh! Wait, what? Yeah, this is the parts and service room. Uh. Oh, dang. <gasps> what? Wait a second. So, is that the spirit of Zenny? If so, then golly, wasn't that a twist? And there we go. I freaking got the third golden star on the menu and ultimately wrapping up all of Night Shift with Jazz. So that was pretty much all it with Night Shift with Jazz. Another underrated game that I really did enjoy playing through. I really did like the very simple mechanics of only using both of the doors if absolute necessary. If, uh, you know, Wolfie, Bob, or Jazz and Jinx were like about to crawl through the vent or about to, you know, breach into the office, then uh, you just had to shut one of those doors and yep, there we go. <laughs> and I really did like the utilization of the cameras just to see when Bob or, uh, you know, Wolfie were about to go into the office and, you know, bang on the freaking door occasionally. And, uh, you know, Jinx's main mechanic of, like, crawling into the vent not once, but, you know, only emitting out two audio cues and you just had to shut her out. And uh, Jazz especially, I did like how he had, like, two different paths that he could choose from. One, he could go into the right uh, ventilation system and then crawl around in there for one sound cue and then you could just uh, pretty much screw him off with the door along with going into the left hallway and then uh, you know you had to hear his laugh and then that's when you had to shut the door off and yeah it pretty much provided a really nice uh, you know intense gameplay loop of things and you know adding one animatronic at a time and the night five is whenever you, know, you face all of them off and you know various aggressions and then you know the 420 mode obviously um Golly, that was a whole lot of fun to play through. It was not too bad, actually. And the Horror Knight introducing Zenny as, like, this main threat, you know, for any other, like, typical Night 6, uh, Night, uh, you know, that any one of these games have. And, uh, it was not that hard, actually. Yeah, I kept getting jump-scared by Zenny, but that was because he stood too long at one of the doors, respectively, since after he, like, banged one of the doors with, like, a loud, uh, uh, you know, bang, I guess? He stood there for like, I don't know, a few seconds. I don't know if it's like more than 10. And then he just went off somewhere else. And so I just stared at the cameras until they flickered. And that's whenever it was safe to open up one of those set doors. And I like the addition of the mini games trying to tell us that story of what was going down at this, uh, you know, new robotic restaurant that Jazz was, you know, managing behind the scenes. And uh, yeah. I really did like all their designs, especially with Jinx. She looks adorable with her, uh, you know, magician uh, gloves, her top hat, and then her magic wand. Um, and yeah, she is definitely my favorite animatronic out of the bunch here. And yeah, those are like my overall thoughts on uh, Night Shift with Jazz. And yeah, I did like uh, both of those endings too, where we died, investigated more of what was going down behind the scenes, or, you know, just, you know, freaking exit the premises never to return ever again. But however, I did return for one more night for the weekend, but well, whatever. At least I uh, lived on with my life and, you know, fended off Jazz and his other band of misfits as well. So yeah, this was another highly underrated gem that came out a few days ago and I just wanted to, you know, give it a playthrough myself. And yeah, this was like the full playthrough of Night Shift with jazz so if anyone has enjoyed this entire video as i played through the whole game of night shift with jazz then y'all know what to do down there since all of your amazing like comment and definitely subscribe if y'all haven't already or else you'll be in that same suit as i was in those two cutscenes. and have fun whenever you're trying to escape from that said suit or else zenny will be lurking nearby to take you out and hit that bell to be notified of all my future content and streams because I do sometimes stream my channel, and that's about it. So I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and yeah, 
See y'all.